Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use Ping in Windows. So, while Ping is a little bit complex depending on who you're talking to, in the most simplest of forms, it's not an actual depiction of how fast your internet connection is. Basically, a Ping command will send a packet to an IP address, and if the website sends it to the DNS server, the DNS server sends it to the IP address of the allocated website. The command I'm going to be showing in this tutorial sends several packets to a web address that we specified, so the web server will respond to each packet it receives. So if everything's working fine, there should be a 0% packet loss, and the amount of time that each packet takes should not be very long. So we're going to jump into it. Let's stop talking. Let's get to it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu, and you want to type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on it, left click on run as administrator, left click on yes to run it with administrator permissions. So now that you've done that, you want to just type in ping, so P I N G, space, and then whatever website you want to ping. So let's just do a quick example here. So let's ping Google. So www.google.com, then you want to hit enter. So it should say pinging here. And what it's doing is, again, showing us we have zero loss, which is good. And you can actually see this IP address that it's replying from. This is actually coming from Mountain View, California. And this is coming directly from Google's own network here. So you can see that it has related back to us. And you can see how long it took to get back to us as well. So if the server did not respond to one or more of the packets we sent, it could indicate a network problem. So that's definitely interesting and worth noting. You can also actually tell if it's coming from a Windows server, or Linux server, or whatnot as well from this information. However, there's a lot of stuff on here. I don't really want to confuse you guys too much. And there's going to be another command I want to also show you. So let's ping another website here. So P-I-N-G space www.microsoft.com. And now I'm going to do a space and then a little dash next to the, to the zero key on your keyboard and then the letter T, so no space in between the dot com space and then the minus sign T. Then we're going to hit enter. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to continue to ping this website or this web server until we close out of the command prompt window. So you can see how long it's taking and it's currently sending and receiving information from the web server. This tutorial isn't really going to get too in depth about what everything means, but I just wanted to show you guys how to ping a website. And even though it won't necessarily show you if the website's operational or not or online, this is definitely an interesting little tutorial just to show you guys the basics of pinging. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.